Alrighty, I'm going to show you very quickly how to sand this dent out. So, a round fender with my favorite block. You get this Dura block here, block I use for everything, except for when I don't use it. Now, it conforms to the shape very nicely. So see, blocky, blocky, blocky. Now, you take the block and you put your sandpaper on it, and then you go to bend it, and it doesn't work. So that's not going to work. So what you want to do is you want to take your sandpaper, you set it where you're, where you're going to sand, stick the block down on it, And now you can see the block is curved and the sandpaper doesn't have any wrinkles or anything stupid like that. And that's how I sand round fenders. What I'm doing here is not ideal. It's taking a while because I'm using 320 to start with and that primer has some pretty decent amount of orange peel to it. I really should be starting with 180 and cutting it down and then going to 320. But I don't want to go through this at all because I'm going to paint right over this primer. So I'm just using 320 to start with I'm using light pressure and I'm just taking a really long time and I'll still be able to get it blocked down evenly. Just a lot more work. I wouldn't recommend it. But uh, after I get done blocking it out with 320 I'm going to take a 500 grit on just one of those little soft sponge pads and then just lightly kind of go over it by hand real quick and that'll be it coming out pretty good so you get the idea here's the primer shrinkage update it's been a week and it's definitely shrank some um, not so much the bottom the top is pulled away from the sides it's not done yet it'll shrink more you can tell because it's all wet under here still so uh, At least it looks like it's wet under here still. Yep, sure is. It's weird how it's shrinking like that. Anyway. So yeah.